I thought it might be helpful to do a very quick overview of the HP 32S2. Just kind of a rundown on all its features, so anyone who's thinking about buying it or wonders if it can do something, I'll just talk about what it is, what it's capable of. Now the first thing you'll notice it's capable of is indicating that it has a low battery, and that's a really nice feature. No, I'm just kidding. I need to change the batteries. We have uh, just basic functionality here across your top row, your square root, your, your natural number to an exponent, your natural log, uh, you know, a number to an exponent, uh, reciprocal of a number. Um, those are all pretty standard. And again, you have on the tops your you know, 10 to the x, your x squared, your regular log, your um, x the root of a number. Uh, then you have several menus here. So you have a parts menu. The, one of the features of the 32S2 is it does have menus. So you get more functionality than what you just see on the keyboard. So parts menu, you have a probability menu. You can find combinations, permutations, random numbers. You have a linear regression menu, um, your mean of your y and x's. So you can find quickly the mean. You can find the standard deviations and sums of numbers. So you can enter in a string of numbers and find its sums. You have you can do complex numbers. Um, you have an equation editor which is really nice. You can enter in a bunch of equations. I don't have any entered here but I could do uh, recall x is equal to 45 times pi minus o w. Something like that. And I could solve for a variable in that equation. I could solve for either x or w, or I could run that and solve for x given a particular w. And it'll also find roots, so you can uh, figure out, you know, if you're doing your uh, finding the roots of an equation, you can do quadratic equations, etc. Uh, let me clear, clear that. Um, you can round numbers, that's what that is. Um, you can do hyperbolic functions, so hyperbolic sine, cosine, tangent, arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent. You have, of course, pi. You can roll the stack up and down, uh, percent, percent change. Um, some of these functions, you know, like memory, shows you how much memory you have. Modes, again, pretty standard, change degrees, radians. Um, display, fixed, scientific engineering. Uh, you have a solver, which I already mentioned. You can solve a function for a variable. You have numerical integration. You have a bunch of programming capability. That's what these are. Uh, flags, etc. Right here you can change bases. Decimal, hexadecimal, octal, binary. You can switch between degrees and radians. Uh, convert those on the fly. So, you know, pi converted to degrees, 180 degrees. You can change from hours, minutes, seconds to hours, decimals, or as I have said before many times, I like to do that for latitude and longitude. Change it from degrees, minutes, seconds to uh, a decimal format. Rectangular to polar conversions, kilograms to pounds, centigrade to Fahrenheit, centimeters to inches, liters to gallons. You can input in fractions, and that's a, a nice feature of this, so 45 and one half. I can actually enter in and display fractions. Um, and of course programming. So you can enter in your own programs and run them and have them stored in memory. So that's just a kind of a basic, very quick overview of the functionality of the calculator. And then I have other videos that go into more detail on how to actually use those. But really nice calculator. I really enjoy it.